Which Fortnite YouTubers could I be in a 1v1 real life fight? Well, first of all, we're going to start off with Ninja. He would lose 100%. I'm taking that home. He's in Florida getting his tan on. He's in the gym, but he's still at like 110 pounds. He's losing this fight. And just for the sake of rules, this is a 1v1 fight. Anything goes boxing, wrestling, no weapons. It's just like a straight up fight. Nick A30. I honestly initially thought I could beat Nick A30. But I think Nick A30, secretly, he's a killer. I see him line people up, 100 players, and he just slaughters them in his custom games over and over. My man is low-key psychotic. I think some rage would take over, and I think I might lose to Nick A30. Next up, we got Courage JD. Courage has some mass working for him, but all I have to do really is is throw a chipotle burrito bowl in the other direction and he'll be distracted and i can i can probably take him there so i'll probably win against courage jd in my opinion next up we got tifu all right me and him got a workout in together he's very strong and athletic but so am i he has that florida energy i feel like tifu has been in a lot of fights in his life he just gives me that vibe I i'll say it's close to 50 50. i'm gonna be fair and i'm gonna put it just a little bit in his direction just a little bit as of right now if he just spawn in this room i feel like that florida energy would overtake the room and he would have that advantage next up we got laser beam all the way from australia i feel like every day laser beam walks out of his house he's gonna have to fight 15 different poisonous snakes spiders and kangaroos the man has probably seen a lot of stuff in australia I'll probably say he, he'll he probably take this one. Nick Merckx, all right? A fight to the death. I didn't know this about Nick, but apparently he is a trained something Navy. He, he watches a lot of UFC. He's really into fighting. In a boxing match, I said that I could probably take him. But in a straight up fight where we're wrestling, this man, you know, five foot nine, he's going to get under and like, he's just going to take out my legs. And then all of a sudden the height advantage doesn't really matter. He probably wins. He probably wins. Next up, we got the X2 Twins. Now, individually, both these guys will get mopped up. But in a 2v1 scenario, I feel like they're going to have that twin synergy. Like, they're just going to be, you know, doing backflips off of each other and trying to kick me in the face. Like, it's going to be tough. One of them is going to be biting my ankle. The other one's going to knock me over. You know, the telepathy and everything that goes on, I, I lose 100% against X2 Twins. All right, McCreamy. The question is, is he dressed up as a purple Skull Trooper in this 1v1 if he is that might be a little bit scary and but if he's just in his normal civilian clothes i might not even recognize that dude in that situation i'm gonna say i probably win unless he's dressed up as a skull trooper next up we got phase replays i mean this dude is crazy with the snipes i've seen him hit some nutty shots he's super cracked he's my teammate in zero build competitions but at the end of the day man he's too nice of a guy he's just he's way too nice phase up and everything but phase is gonna have to take an l on this one i win against replays 100 percent top five gaming tommy by the time i'm done with top five gaming tommy he's gonna be uploading a video called 20 things you missed about how i lost to cypher pk in a 1v1 i am beating top five gaming tommy in a 1v1 irl fight easily next up we have the big clicks one of the best fortnite players in the world dude is super cracked i don't know the last time he he left his house he did have a pretty good transformation he got in shape and he's been hitting the gym be honest clicks last i checked we were just crossing maybe the 5-5 territory 5-4 territory he still has some growing up to do i might regret this down the line but for now clicks is taking the l on this one easily dr lupo the dad of the scene and nick has been telling me this a lot that Dr. Lupo most likely has skeletons in his closet and he probably knows 15 different ways to break my bones. That's why they call him Dr. Lupo. He is someone who dismantles bodies. I lose 110% against Dr. Lupo. All right, next up, we got Gref, one of the best icon skins in the game. Very cool, very muscular, but his icon skin is way more buff and ripped than Gref is IRL. I don't have an icon skin yet fighting any icon would enrage me and make me want to win even more so i'd probably win against gref who's this next guy some relevant uh uk youtuber who is this guy i see a red bull is this the chicago I'll just, bulls i'll just take him off the list yeah i don't know who that guy is 
All right, next up, we got C-Day. I swear to God, if we got in a 1v1 fight, I would beat the brakes out of you for not uploading content, bro. We needed you. You disappeared again after coming back for one day. I mean, we have zero builds now, bro. It's kind of casual. I got to beat some sense into you to start uploading consistently, man. Come on. I win 100%, but I wouldn't be happy doing it. I, I just want the guy to upload some content. All right, next up, we got Tim the Tat Man. All right. I had a lot of Tim the Tat Man fans telling me that he could beat me in a boxing match. I, I just, I don't see Tim lasting two or three rounds doing something active like that. My man is so tired. He doesn't even play games. He just spectates other people play games. There's no way he's going to have the energy to fight me. I win. Okay, next up, we have Muselk, uh, another Aussie who has probably seen a lot of things in his life. But was he a construction worker like Laser Beam? I feel like Laser Beam's got that grit. He's got that drive. He put on his hard hat and he sweat out there and he did a lot of stuff. Muselk, on the other hand, I'm not too sure. I feel like in this situation, it's closer to 50-50, but it's going to lean more on in my direction. Next up, we have Ali A. And listen, if his intro soundtrack is playing during the fight, I'm losing without a doubt. He is going to decimate me. But without that power up, I feel like Ali A is going to lose. And like I said, he is also an icon creator, and I'm not. And that's going to drive me to want to win the fight. So I probably win against Ali A. Next up, we have Typical Gamer, my arch nemesis. We have 1v1 so many times in different modes, and we've got undercover and hide and seeks and fashion shows. But listen, in real life, I tower over Typical Gamer, all right? I can't let it slide that he beat me in the last 1v1 that we, what we did. So it's going to be close to 50-50, but I'm taking the win. World Cup champion, Fuga. He walked away with $3 million in New York during the Fortnite World Cup. What an absolute champ. And then he continued to dominate in the Fortnite competitive scene, getting plenty of FNCS wins and championships. And as a result, he has not seen the sun in three years. And because of that, unless he goes through a super intense gym, lifting, and fighting arc, is going to lose this one. All right, next up, we have Nate. Hill. I mean, this guy is a fashion model. He plays soccer. He's a really good pro gamer. I, I mean, he's got amazing hair, great skin. He's almost too perfect. And I feel like I'm a little bit jealous of Nate Hill. Like this, this guy has to have a negative. And in this reality that I'm creating, Nate Hill's negative is that he's not a good fighter. And for that reason, I'm going to win. Next up, we have Mr. Beast. Now here's the thing. If Jimmy could use his money in the fight and like spawn in 10 paid bodyguards and assassins, I'm done for. But in a real real fight me and jimmy have a very similar build he's about my height uh jimmy's a little bit bigger as a content creator this is a clean 50 50 with mr beast and honestly it's gonna lean more in his favor because if he starts losing he could definitely pay me to lose he has enough money all right next up we have ludwig ludwig is a great content creator he uh, abandoned us here at twitch after being the most subscribed twitch streamer he took a check from youtube and said peace i'm out i respect the hustle the thing about ludwig is he actually has the ability to eat cereal out of his chest and i might be too distracted staring at his chest and he's gonna get a quick right jab it's gonna lean in his direction i'll, I'll, I'll give him this one close to 50 50 but leaning in ludwig's direction lachlan i feel like lachlan might be a great fighter and he's a great youtuber the reality is that he suffers from the problem of being a fortnite icon creator i can't lose the fortnite icon creator i've already lost enough lachlan is going to be close but i'm taking it home Next up, we have Mr. Fresh Asian. He's one of the few content creators to actually be a content creator and perform in a professional setting. Too bad that professional setting is Oceana, where only 67 players compete in Fortnite competitive. Mr. Fresh, I don't know where you've been. Come back soon. We miss you. Next up, we have the face of Twitch, XQC. The man streams like 30 hours in a 24-hour day um, and spends his days these days throwing hundreds of thousands of dollars in gambling stream. But in this fighting scenario, I am beating him harder than the gambling websites are robbing him. Lastly, we have Junior, my little brother, the only person on this list that I've actually fought, and he has lost every single time. GG's, Junior. Thank you guys so much for watching. I just recently launched a new collection for my apparel brand, Metal Umbrella. It's the summer collection with a lot of cool designs, and we ship everywhere now. So to my fans in India, Egypt, Mexico, wherever you're at, we ship to you. Go to metalumbrella.com and check out the new collection.